I'm not saying there's a fracture, but I'm not not saying it either. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I've noticed a lot of people have loved the medical meme reviews on YouTube, so I figured I would do something a little different and focus only on radiology-specific memes, and I hope you guys find them just as funny as I do. I haven't seen any of them yet, so let's go ahead, get right into it. Today's video is sponsored by Felix Gray. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a very long time, you may remember a review I did on the Felix Gray Blue Light Eliminating Glasses. It's been almost a year since I did that last review, and guess what? I still wear them every day. Now, as a diagnostic radiology resident, I spend a lot of time in really dark rooms looking at extremely bright monitors. At the end of my long shifts, I started to notice that eye strain and eye fatigue was becoming a real issue. I got to the point where I basically accepted that I would have a tension-like headache at the end of every long shift. But then I tried Felix Gray blue light filtering glasses and I've never looked back. I started wearing them every time I started my shift and before I sat down in front of these super bright monitors. I quickly noticed that eye strain, eye fatigue, and those headaches I were getting eventually just stopped. And like I said, it's been over a year now and I still wear them on a daily basis. So why don't you do yourself a favor and pick up a pair of Felix Gray blue light filtering glasses so you can defeat eye strain, eliminate glare, and also look good in the process. After all, it is the holiday season. Speaking of holidays, click the link in my description and use the code THANKS15 to get 15% off of the entire Felix Gray website from November 25th through December 4th. And if you're watching this video after those dates, go check out the website anyways because I promise you'll find something you love. And on that note, let's get back to the video. So the first one is a selfie taken by a radiologist. I mean, I've seen this one before. I mean, I think so many people sent this to me when I was going into radiology, but nobody does this. I don't actually take x-rays, so I couldn't have done this. Lesion may or may not be present. That's, that's pretty accurate. I've actually seen that in a report before and I, I laughed pretty hard. I couldn't say anything because I'm just resident, but yeah. I think I've seen a report that says like, may or may not be cancer, which is just not helpful at all. <laughs> but, oh man. How I look when I'm trying to ask the radiologist a question. <laughs> this is pretty funny. This, is, this reminds me of sometimes the radiology techs or med students will be in the background. They like don't want to interrupt us, but they want to ask us a question. And they just kind of like creep in the background and like open the door slowly. We're really not that mean. You can ask a question. All right, the next one. I was so relieved that the doctor said it was fractured. I was afraid it was broken. I, <laughs> I guess people don't know the difference between the two. I'm, I'm not sure. Next. When I find out my patient is on isolation precautions after I've already been in the room a million times. Yes, this happens so many times. I can't tell you. I walk into so many IR rooms and the patient is just on the table and they've been transferred from their bed and I'm doing like a pre-ultrasound or something and then as I'm putting the ultrasound away, I notice that there's like a yellow gown on their bed and I'm like, was I supposed to, ah, whatever, too late now. I just washed my hands and hope for the best. All right, the next one, good guy radiologist asked to check MRI for a ruptured bicep tendon, checks tendon, heart lungs, and arteries for patient. Oh, I get it. Because <laughs> you see more on the actual MRI than just the tendon. Ah, took me a minute there. It's not a good joke, but I see what they're going for. All right, the next one. It's been an easy day. Please make this as difficult as possible. I mean, I don't, again, I don't perform x-rays, but I know all the radiology techs do this, and this is pretty true, because inevitably, if you're having a bad day, like everything just hits the fan all at once and the whole day is just screwed up. So you'll probably have all your bad patients on one day. So you're telling me you're here for an x-ray because you fell 12 days ago? <laughs> the, 
This is like dead on because people will let things go forever, including broken bones, like you name it. They will wait until like 2 a.m. on a Friday, two weeks after the event even happened, and then they will come in. I don't know what prompts them to come in, they just, it like takes them forever. I don't know if it has to be like so bad to a certain point that they come in, but I feel like patients always wait till like the worst times to come in. Tell me again about how you fell. <laughs> only, only the uh, true radiology folk will get this. So there is a fifth metacarpal fracture, which is also known as a boxer's fracture, which you usually get this most of the time by hitting a wall or somebody. So that's pretty much the only way to get these. It's not the only way, but it's like the most common way. So you're not gonna fall and get this kind of fracture. All right, the next one is, I got a fever and the only prescription is more scanning. <laughs> what? This is so stupid. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty true actually, because pretty much people just scan everything all the time. Give this guy a hand, he needs a hand. <laughs> I guess you could take this more ways than one. He probably will need a new hand. I don't know what happened to this guy. It looks like he like, I don't know, maybe he was holding a firework or something and it blew up in his hand, but his hand is not looking too good. Please lie down on the table, flat on your back. I mean, <laughs> this is like, I'm again, the radiology text, you guys are gonna get this one because I mean, patients are, like they don't listen to anything you say. When you say like lay on your back, they'll just like go sideways. MRI scanners, making dubstep since the 80s. <laughs> if, you, if you guys have never heard an MRI scanner actually working, it's like the loudest thing ever. And I actually, for the OG subscribers, I used to have, my intro music used to be like a remake of an MRI machine. It was like a dubstep MRI machine. That's why this meme is so funny. So go back to like one of my first videos it's like a cool mashup that I used for my video way back when, and I never use it again, but it's actually pretty cool. So go listen to like the first video ever on my channel. Doctor, did the MRI reveal anything? Yes, you're claustrophobic. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I could go on an MRI scanner. I've never had an MRI, but they kind of scare me. I'm claustrophobic, and I don't think I could go in there without some pretty heavy anxiolytic medication. So hopefully I never have an MRI, but I like reading them. When you rotate with radiology and are useless, but remember they will let you go home at noon. <laughs> Dead on. I actually did this today. I let a med student go like at 11 a.m. The VA finally approved my MRI, so I got that going for me, which is nice. <laughs> I love how they put the mummy in the coil. That's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, this is, I'm not gonna get into the politics of healthcare, but this is funny. We'll leave it at that. This is Drake on this meme. Thorough history and physical exam, donut of truth. Yes, this is this is like the ER, 100% ER. It's not just the ER, it's pretty much everybody because physical exam is like going by the wayside these days. Everybody just sees the patient, maybe does a light physical examination, and then they scan them because scan shows all. All right, so the next one, my insurance won't pay for an MRI. Oh, he's at the airport. That's funny. Those x-ray machines are actually pretty decent. They have color, so. I don't even know how they, I don't know what they're made out of, honestly. I should do a video on that. If anybody knows how the x-ray scanners at the airport work, hit me up in the comments below. Appears to be a possible borderline indeterminate equivocal suspected pixel, probably of questionable significance Clinical correlation is needed, maybe. I mean, this is this is pretty dead on. Some of my colleagues and anybody who's in radiology will know there's always those people out there that will like hedge on everything. But I try not to. But sometimes, I mean, you just don't know. You can't know everything in radiology. It's I don't know. Nothing's like ever cut and dry. But this is pretty pretty accurate and hilarious. ER docs. Jumping over scene patient history physical exam and going straight to the CT scan. Again, this is hilarious. I love my ER doctors. I have so many friends that are ER attendings, but this is funny. And I will send this to them right after this is over. Oh, this is another one at the airport. Could you maybe fax a copy of this to my radiologist? 
That's very funny. This x-ray won't have too much, what? Oh, this x-ray won't have too much radiation, will it? I don't want to get cancer. Smoked in a cigarette. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty accurate. I could see a patient doing this. Classic. My ex-girlfriend's chest x-ray. I don't know if my ex-girlfriend watches this channel. But I mean, she she had a heart. This, this one doesn't have a heart. I don't think I'd be that mean. This is just, the heart's not in the chest. It's probably below the diaphragm. <laughs> How did I get all these emergency room memes for radiologists? So this patient exists. ER doc, CT scan button. I don't want my friends to hate me in ER, so. I don't know how all these got in here. Or I don't know who's making all of these. Myth, I'm just big boned. Your excuse is invalid. Pretty accurate. I did a post on this on Instagram, and if you don't follow me, you can follow me right up here. And I did, I went over the big boned myth a long time ago. And yeah, this, this is pretty accurate. So yeah, bones are pretty much the same size no matter how much extra weight you're carrying. All right, so we have a lateral view of Prince William appears to be flicking people off. Why radiologists want two views, and he's just holding up the number three. This is actually pretty funny. This is exactly why we want two views though, because sometimes things can look different with just one view. And as we say in the business, one view is no view. You always need two views. Hug a radiologist today, and when they're distracted, inject him with vitamin D whispering for your bones. I guess this is a knock that radiologists are always in a dark room. I guess that's kind of like an old joke though. I go out in the sunshine all the time. Forgets correlate clinically, patient dies. <laughs> so stupid. I'm not saying there's a fracture, but I'm not not saying it either. <laughs> I think what's made me laugh is this guy's face. <laughs> he has that sheepish grin on his face. Oh man, that's funny. That is funny, but I'm not not saying it. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing, that's so stupid. When the surgical team wants a report from the radiologist. <laughs> yeah, I can see this. My like first two or three years of radiology, the whole surgery team would come in and like gather around you. And it's kind of stressful because you're not going through your search pattern, you're just kind of like, answering their questions and you may miss something, but you don't want to miss something and look stupid. So you're trying to like rush through the scan and yeah, it's a little stressful, but you get used to it and you get used to what they want to see. So, but yeah, this is pretty accurate. Well, not to this extent, but it's accurate. People gather around you, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then I said, don't worry, it's perfectly safe. <laughs> I had a patient ask me that one time on IR they're like, why do you get to wear all this lead? Why are you so leaded up? And I'm over here just like eating all these x-rays. I mean, it's a good question. All right, and since we love the ER so much, I'll leave you guys with this one, which is the ED doctor. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me laugh so much. The ED doctor just keeps going under and under. Radiologist at 4.59 on a Friday. This is pretty, Pretty accurate, I'm not gonna lie. All right guys, so that concludes the first edition of Meme Review, Radiology Edition. If you have any other memes you want me to review, medical or radiology specific, send them my way. You can DM me on Instagram and follow me right here while you're at it. As always, leave a comment below if you have any questions for me and I will try to answer them. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next video.